What's up, YouTube? Y'all already know what's up with me. I'll let y'all know right now. Every time I you can look at the news, you can hey, you can walk outside. You every way you look, it's always violence and stuff that's going on in this world. And I'm gonna let y'all know, it's either some young punks or some old fools. And y'all young punks and old fools, you need to sit your ass down somewhere. And I'm gonna tell you why. Is it really that damn serious that you gotta kill somebody or you gotta take a person's life or you got you know what I'm saying, gotta do them that bad? At the end of the day, is it, is it really that serious for you to go pick up a damn gun and go shoot somebody? Cause y'all do too much. Y'all ain't got shit better to do than to go hurt somebody, go steal from somebody, go rob somebody, go kill somebody, or go just get on some gangster shit. Y'all ain't got nothing better to do. Y'all, all this success in this world, all this stuff that you can be accomplishing, but you wanna go hurt somebody. You wanna go act a fool in the street. Let me tell you something. At the end of the day, when you got beef with somebody, you know, if you kill a person, as soon as you take that person's life, your whole life gonna change. And what I mean by your whole life gonna change, it's gonna eat at you. And, and what I mean by eat at you, look here, if you mad at somebody, if I'm mad at you or you mad at me, and one of us kill each other, at the end of the day, if you killed him, it ain't no way of bringing that person back. What I mean, ain't no way of bringing that person back, ain't no way of settling the beef or settling the altercation. You know what I mean? You live to fight another day. You live to chop it up another day. You live to be cool another day. It's the art of forgiveness. I mean, it's a lot of things that, you know, a lot of people ain't going to stand for. It's a lot of things that people got boundaries on. You know, a lot of people got to protect their family and their life. It's a lot of people that's out here, you know, it's okay, you know what I'm saying, that, you know, out of self-defense, yo, you're going to protect yourself. I'm going to be honest with you. This is a crazy world, and you got to protect yourself in this crazy world. But what I'm saying is, don't be just out here going, starting shit, or acting a damn fool, trying to make a name for yourself, trying to make a street name, because that ain't going to do nothing but get you killed. It's short-lived. You go to the penitentiary or you're gonna go to the graveyard and you're gonna have a severe injury that you might be turned into a damn vegetable. A lot of people out here that's living that life, they don't even want to live that life. It's a lot of people out here selling dope, they don't even want to sell dope. They probably got a motive just to get out the game or something like that. And it's a lot of people out here like, you know, I'm doing all I can but I ain't got no choice. It is a choice. It's a choice to take somebody's life. It's a choice to fight somebody. It's a choice to get anger. It's a choice to think about that anger. It's a choice to control that anger. It's a choice to control that temper. You make the decision of how you're going to take affirmative action. If you want to go and kill that person or you want to go hurt that person, best believe there's consequences behind it. Okay, you're probably saying, I won't get caught. I might not get caught. But your brain caught you. You know what you did and God know what you did. At the end of the day, ignorance is at an all time high right now. But the person that you want to die, the person that you want to hurt, they got a family at home. The person that you don't like or the person that you had an altercation with, they got problems too. You ain't the only one that got problems. You ain't the only one that got a family. Some people ain't got no family, but they got something to live for. What gives you the right to go take somebody's life and you ain't give it to them? You go by a graveyard. I remember one time, my, hey, me and my daddy, we were riding, right? You were like, we were rolled by a cemetery, you know? He was like, hey, how many people dead over there? Me, my dumb ass counting them. I'm like, one, two, three, four. I said, I don't know, I can't count on you like all of them. And I'm like, really? You know, but I'm thinking about, as I look at this cemetery, nine times out of 10, it's a lot of people, they die of natural causes. You know what I mean? And nine natural causes these days is bullshit because people do so much bullshit, they do so much shooting, now they're probably call it a natural cause. You know what I mean? Because it's been going on for so long, every damn day you're gonna hear a gunshot or you're gonna hear Somebody open fire, it's gonna be a fight, it's gonna be an argument. Somebody got animosity with somebody. It's so much evil going on in this world. Every day you wake up, it's something coming at you with something on the news that's gonna give you negativity. But I'm gonna let you know right damn now. Before you put your hands on somebody, and before you pull a trigger, before you pull a knife or a blade, before you try to do anything to take somebody's life, you just don't know. Your life can be taken too. It's I for an eye in this world. And I'm gonna let you know right now. People got family. Somebody right now is hurting right now because somebody has passed away because somebody was killed by a jackass over some beef, probably over $5 or $40 over some money or over a woman, over some dope, it don't matter. It's something stupid over some pride, over some lust, over jealousy and envy. People killing over some stuff that's not even gonna last forever. When you die, you can't take none of this with you, so what you killing for it for? Hey, you gotta survive, you know? Somebody be like, I gotta get money, I gotta survive, you know, it's, it's real out here. How old are you? How old are you? Ask yourself, how old, how old am I? to be doing the bullshit that I'm doing right now. Running these streets, doing bullshit I'm doing right now. You know, some people out here, you know, they, they wanna do stuff, you know, they, they wanna pull triggers and take lives and all that stuff, they wanna get back to the community like you helping them. You ain't doing shit. See, you wanna help the community, but you lowering the population at the same time. It don't work that way. You're not God. You ain't got the right to take nobody life. You ain't got the right to pull no trigger. You ain't got no right to, you, ain't, you didn't give it, so how you gonna take it? 
I understand people have altercations. I understand people have beef, but to kill a person over. Kill a person over $5 just to rob somebody. Or you get scared or nervous. Or you just want to pick up a gun because you can't win a fight. Because you get your ass whipped. Now you want to go grab a gun. You know what I'm saying? And then some people, they just want to start fights. They want to be bullied. Bullying is played out too. I don't care how old you You can be a kid. Kids get their ass whooped too. And at the end of the day, you can't be bullying in school. There's a lot of kids out here committing suicide because they're scared to go to school because they're getting bullied. And then they don't want to go home because they probably got a parent or something that's probably real tough on them. And they don't want to tell their parents because they don't want their parents to think that they're weak. So they just eat inside, eat away at them until they go jump off a bridge or something, commit suicide, and their mind don't be right. And then they start making bad choices. They start making bad choices choices because they ain't got nobody to talk to or they're afraid. Yeah, like y'all need to learn how to talk to people. Like y'all need to learn how to sell the shit out. What I mean by sell the shit out, when you kill a person, you can't go back there and apologize to that person. You can't go back and you know what I'm saying and, and bury the hatchet with that person. That person is long gone. You know what I mean? That person probably didn't even want to die. You know what I mean? And there's a lot of people out here talking about, you know, I take that bullet, you know what I'm saying? I ain't scared to die. You're a damn lie. Because at the end of the day, when you die, you know it's a heaven or a hell. You just ain't got your mind right yet. Because the way people acting a fool out here in these streets, y'all going to have to be close to the Lord. Everybody need to be walking with the Lord close as possible. Because there's so much stuff going on in this world, you don't know when it's time to go. You know what I mean? It's a lot of ignorant fools out here, and we need to put these guns down. A lot of people, it's a lot of people walking around with guns right now, just for protection. How many times you done walked out that door with that gun and ain't pulled that trigger? Some people done walked out the gun, walked out the door with 10 years with a gun, ain't even pulled the trigger, ain't killed nobody. Only the time they use the gun was on the 4th of July, New Year. Then when you pull the trigger, what the hell are you gonna do? I made a mistake. I fucked up. Now I'm in here. Don't be like me. I'm behind these walls. If I could do it all over again, I'd get education. If you had your head on straight, you wouldn't have to do it all over again. It's a damn shame that you gotta walk around. Sometimes it's your own race that kill you. People up there talking about racism, but it's black on black crime and white on white crime. And at the end of the day, people out here doing shit to each other, but then when something happened on TV, you wanna get united and march. You wanna go on riots and you wanna say, free this person and free that person. But not thinking about what the hell they did to get in there. Some people, they'll go to their own neighborhood and tear up their own shit to let the people know that we can't take it no more. But you're tearing up your own shit. Hey, they'll go by Walmart, but they'll go down to Family Dollar and set it on fire. You ain't got nothing to prove. You ain't got nobody to be bothered. You ain't got nobody to be pissed off at. Life is too short to be pissed off. Right now, life is so tough, you got you to gotta thank God just to live to see another day because there's so much stuff going on in this world. I can't stop preaching that there's so much stuff going on in this world that we are so ungrateful for life. Really, you're ungrateful for life because you're taking advantage of life. Time is just ticking away. But people want to take lives. They want to do things to shorten their lifespan. Don't do things to shorten your lifespan. Don't do things just to end your life just that quick. Because at the end of the day, we was put in this world for a purpose. And our purpose is not to be killing each other and to be defeating each other. It's not to be bringing each other down. It's not to be hurting each other, talking bad about each other. That's what leads to violence. All this negativity, that's what leads to what's going on in this world right now. But people don't understand that because they're digging into it because it's entertainment. You didn't make this world. You didn't create the life. You didn't create the heart. You probably slept with the woman and all that, but it, it's not your creation. That's God. God gave us the breath of life. Only he can take it. You need to sit your ass down somewhere. If you got a gun ready to go outside right now act a fool, I'm talking to you. Sit your ass down. Man, take your stupid ass back in the house. What you mad for? Is, is it that? Is it, do it piss you off that bad? That you ready to throw your own life away to take somebody else? I'm finna go throw my life away. I, I got mine. well go throw my life away. I'm finna go kill him so I can go to prison and ruin my life. Well, you know, I got a family and all that, you know what I'm saying? They ain't gonna miss me, you know. This world can be better off without me. Why do you, why do, why do you do that? And don't get me wrong, I got a family too. And I'm gonna tell you just like this. If anybody come from my family, I'm gonna be in the front. I'm gonna be on the front line and there ain't gonna be nowhere to be seen. You come from my family, therefore you coming from me. Like that, this is not no violent shit like that. But, if brutal force is required, so be it. But I'm not saying... I'm not saying that, you know, violence is the answer. What I'm saying, ain't nothing wrong with protecting yourself out of self-defense. But you need to think before you react once. Think twice before you react once. Don't worry about a person. If you are mad at them, leave them. You ain't got to fool with them no more. What you think about? Ego, pride, or I don't want them to, I don't want to seem like no punk. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't want to seem like no bitch. So, you know, I'm going to go pop his ass. I'm going to go shoot him. I'm going to go shoot him make a name for myself. Because I'm from the streets. I'm a street nigga. That's what you think. You know, this is real. This is the realest, realest shit I've never done. I'm going to go out here because they know me. They know my name. They know who I am. Do you know who I am? Try me. And that's that mentality. And that mentality is getting people killed every day. We know who you are. 
We know what you stand for. We know what you represent. We know where you from. And when you dead and gone, don't none of that shit matter. Money don't matter. Material things don't matter. Your pride don't matter. Don't none of this matter in this world. How many hoes you got? That don't matter. That don't matter. You know, how many, how many cars you got? How, you know, the success you got. It don't matter. Don't get me wrong. We got money to use for resources and stuff like that. You want to take care of your family. You want to provide for your family. You want to have a good life. Everybody wants to live a good life. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Everybody's working for that. Everybody want to work to be comfortable. Everybody want what's best for their kids. You want your kids to do better than you. You know what I mean? You want people to do better than you. Some people get jealous and go kill people because they're doing better than them. Them the people you need to be learning from. It's the reason that people are doing better than you. People are doing better than you to teach you, to get you to where you need to be. Maybe you be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? This dude got his own business. How did he do that? You know, instead of being hating, instead of jealous, jealousy and stuff like that, man, how do you do that so I can get on? You know what I mean? How do you do that so I can get on? Man, it's easy. Uh, you got to go through this. You got to go through that. It's not hard. You know what I mean? I can show you how to do this. Woo, woo, woo. It's, it's, you can, it's easy instead of just going killing a person because he got more than me. Or he think he the shit because he got his own business. Or he think he the shit because he got three or four cars. Let's go take him. It don't, you're going to go take another man's stuff that he honestly worked for or take another person's life or what they honestly, they really trying to provide for their children. You size of the person up trying to rob them and they trying to provide for their kids. You size of the person up for beef and you trying to get mad at them for ignorant stuff and really not knowing they're probably having problems at home or something. Or they have, it's probably a misunderstanding. It's a lot of misunderstandings in this world that get people killed and really you can just talk the shit out and people will be alive today. I understand a lot of people trying to come up and stuff like that, but you're going about it the wrong way. It's plenty of opportunities. There's a lot of people probably saying the black man holding me down and racism still exists. Don't get me wrong, racism do exist. At the end of the day, racism going to always exist. We're going to always have ignorant people. It's going to always be an enemy in the world. But what you don't understand, God exists too. Hey, God is still in this building. God is still in the vicinity. He's still in the place. And he still exists. Everything that you're talking about, racism exists. God exists too. Violence exists. God exists too. Everything that you're going through, God is in the midst of it. He's taking care of you. That's how you're making it so far. He's been carrying you through this whole way. You probably wonder, man, I don't even know how I'm getting through it. It's just the good Lord, man. That's why you need to be traveling to the good Lord as close as possible, the best way you know how. Because at the end of the day, this world is brutal. It will beat you up. It don't care about you. At the end of the day, God put you here for a purpose. You need to do what he got you to do. If you're doing what he wants you to do, everything will be just fine. We're going to have to worry about some things we don't have to. You know, I feel like we don't have to. We don't have to worry about nothing. We don't have to worry about nothing, but yet we do because we are human. But that's not an excuse. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we are gonna fall short in faith and stuff and all that. But at the end of the day, we just gotta stick with the Lord. That's really what life is telling you, man. You gotta stick with the Lord so close. I mean, you gotta stick with Him just like I mean, like a child to their mother. Because at the end of the day, that's gonna be the one protect you, and you gonna have to answer to Him when it's all said and done. Why y'all here trying to kill people? Why y'all here trying to do this and do that? At the end of the day, you have to realize you got you got to realize you gonna have to be accountable for everything that you're doing right now, and you don't know how long life is, you don't know how short life is, you just don't know. That's why you gotta just walk with him. And it's a reason that people are like that. People are like that because of TV. People are like that because of social media and what they hear in their environment. You know what I mean? People can get killed in their own hometown. You can go. You can go out of town and get rich, come back and get killed in your own hometown just because of jealousy. And it's stupid. You know what I mean? It's a damn shame that people can't even help each other in this world without somebody just trying to sneak something behind your back, get over you, and then, you know, and, and trying to say it's business, not personal. You know, I mean, come on, man. When people go to prison and people get locked up and people get jammed up, you know what I'm saying? Some people going to get jammed up, and I'm going to tell you why. The reason you get jammed up, the reason you get caught up in certain situations, that's God's way of saying that. You're doing too much. And while he's saying you're doing too much, you're looking at it like, damn, I got caught. So-and-so snitched on me. Or somebody turned me in. Or, you know, it don't matter. You know what I'm saying? You get jammed up at a job or something. Somebody wrote me up or something like that. Basically because you're doing too much. And then, you know, at the end of the day, life ain't going to make it no better. You just why you got to depend on God. Because God, he going to guide you in the right direction. Life going to use God's word against you. It's just like, you know... This world is it's gonna try to use God's word against you. It's just like say for instance. Okay. Okay, say I'm out here. Me. Say I'm out here in these mean streets getting it in. You know what I'm saying? I'm up there slanging keys, you know, with a rocket launch on my back, you know what I'm saying? I ain't slanging keys. Let me see. If I'm doing this, I gotta make this story legit, y'all. Okay. Say if I'm out here, you know what I'm saying? Let me see what I'm gonna have. Hold on, y'all. I gotta think about this. 
Alright, okay, say if I'm out here in these mean streets thugging it up, you know, chilling, you know what I'm saying, slanging keys every which way, you know, you know, and you got the little Godfather stuff and you know, Skyface playing in the background. Dun, 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 just like that. And now, you know what I'm saying, it's just like, I'm doing too much. I'm getting people killed, I'm hurting people, you know what I'm saying, taking food out of other people's house, taking over buildings, I'm, you know what I'm saying. Hey, I don't like that coin. I don't like people on that spot. I'm finna go take over that. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna do this. I'm finna do that. I'm being a dirty person. At the end of the day, I'm just the dirtiest person ever. But at the end of the day, God gonna lock. God, he gonna come get me. He gonna arrest me. All right? He gonna come kick down the doors. You know what I'm saying? But before he do all that, before God do all that, you know, you gonna see detectives and stuff coming around lurking. You might see, you know, people taking pictures under covers and stuff like that. That's a warning sign to let you know you're doing too much. You need to settle down. That's a warning sign. But you don't stop. You don't quit. Keep on going. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to just change location. You know what I mean? I'm going to move from here, move from here, yada, yada, yada. So, you move from here, move over there. So, you got your new house or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Got your new spot. Now, it's getting broke into. You're doing too much. You're still doing too much. But, the world going to let you know. You ain't doing too much. They're going to say, hey, man, it's just part of the game. You get, hey, It's just going to be, you know what I'm saying? It's just a setback for a major comeback. No, it's not. You're doing too much, all right? So you keep on hustling. You keep on grinding and getting, you know what I'm saying? You're riding down the street, you know what I'm saying? You know, bumping your music, you know, probably got some 15s or whatever. Whatever you got going on, you're probably in a Rolls Royce. It, 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 it depends on how flashy a person is, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? You're riding, riding everything. Now... So, you didn't hear that, you know what I'm saying? It's about them broken, them broken the spot. People done broken the spot. So, now you got to find out who it is. You know who I am? Do you know who I am? Here go that pride kicking in. Here go, here go this ego kicking in. Do they know who I am? They don't know who they're dealing with. They don't know who they're fooling with. Okay, I guess I'm going to have to go take a life to just set an example of who I am. Still doing too much. Now, you finna go over here, you finna go rough some people up. You ain't tuck the life or nothing like that yet. But you're roughing people up and all that stuff. Now you're roughing people up because, you know what I'm saying, you're trying to figure out who done broken your spot. God's still trying to, you know, sneak warnings in, talking about you're doing too much. Therefore, you're going to have people knocking on your door. You're going to have detectives knocking on your door. What's going on? And, you know, they're going to be harassing you, messing with you. God's still letting you know you're doing too much. Now, one of these days is going to happen when you're going to walk outside and you're going to look around, you ain't going to see nothing but FBI, police, task force, and everything looking for your ass. That's when God's seeing you down. You ain't doing too much no more. Now you done done enough. It ain't no different from your parents trying to tell it, trying to tell you. You know what I'm saying? Stop doing this and stop doing that. Your parents done been there before. Your parents done been through everything that you done been through, and they done did it twice on Sundays. So that's why when parents tell children, what they need to be doing and how they need to be doing and stuff like that. You need to appreciate parents like that because at the end of the day, it's a lot of people out here don't even love their kids, don't even take care of their kids and stuff like that. It's a lot of people giving their own heart and soul to take care of their kids, but the kids are not listening. And the kids are not listening. They start getting locked up because they're looking at what's going on in this world, not knowing God is giving you warning signs through your parents, through your friends and family that's telling you to slow down. Those are warning signs. He's just tapping on the horn, tapping on the horn. Now, when he lay on it, that's when you have to sit down somewhere. Like when your mama grind you and tell you you can't go nowhere, it's God sitting you down. You know what I mean? When you go to jail, it's God sitting you down. When you get locked up, it's God sitting you down for something because you're doing too much. When you get fired from a job, you was doing too much. You know what I'm saying? When you get your ass whipped out here in these streets and then you up here picking on trying to be bullets and stuff like that. You being a bullet to somebody, but then when somebody come back kick your ass be about three or four of them, you doing too much. Now you got to go sit your ass down somewhere. Do you see what I'm saying? It's a way that God warns you that you're doing too much by giving you little glitches of what you shouldn't be doing. It's just like, you know, if you got a store, you know what I'm saying? You got a store, you ain't paying the bills in it. What, what's going to happen? They're going to start giving you cutoff notices and stuff like that. You're doing too much. You need to pay attention to what's going on. You need to handle your business. If you're not handling your business, the business is going to shut down. It ain't no different with life. If you ain't handling your business in life, and you're doing the wrong things, and you're going in the wrong direction, it's going to get shut down. It's going to be short-lived. If you ain't doing it the right way, it's going to be short-lived. I don't give a damn how long you do it. Because I'm going to let you know right now, time flies when you're having fun. It may seem like a long time, but once it's gone, and once... And once everything gone, you sit back and think that what I used to have because you wasn't appreciating what you had back then because you were so ignorant doing what you wanted to do and you want to want to kill people, you want to hurt people, you want you want to start all this shit in this world. That's when 
when you get sat down, that's God's way of telling you that's enough. But I'm letting you know right now, this video right here, it's a warning sign. It's a warning sign to let y'all know y'all doing too much. This is this is one of the warning signs right here. This video is to let you know whatever you got going on, and you feel some type of way about what I'm saying, you doing too much. If you're feeling some type of way about being in these streets, you're doing too much. If you're feeling some way about not listening to your parents or having beef or spreading rumors and stuff like that or violence and black-on-black -black crime and racism, you're doing too much. If you feel some type of way, if you get offended about what I'm about me trying to tell you to do right, you're doing too much. It's different ways that you can handle different situations. You know what I mean? Like I was saying about the racism and the violence. You ain't got to, everything don't resort to violence. Everything don't resort to hurting people. I understand self-defense. Now, don't get me wrong. I ain't saying that, I ain't saying not to protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying is, everything don't resort to violence. Everything don't resort to killing people. Everything don't resort to hurting another human being. It don't, that ain't the end all be all. Hurting another person ain't the end all be all. Ruining somebody else's life, ruining somebody else's day. When you kill a person, you ruining somebody else's life for the rest of their life. They're going to miss that person. For the rest of their life, they're going to mourn that person. That's somebody's mother. That's somebody's daughter. That's somebody's child. That's somebody's son. That's somebody's father. You know what I'm saying? That's somebody's life. You know what I mean? It's just like when you're taking food out of somebody, when you steal from a person. You're stealing out their kid's mouth. You're stealing out their mama's mouth. You stealing out, you stealing out of people's mouths. You know what I mean? And they out here working for it, going nine to five working for it. And you want to go steal, you want to go kill, you want to go act a fool. Man, you need to take a chill pill. That's what you need to do. You ain't heard that in a minute. Take a chill pill. But it's all good. God got ways of sending people down, man. You know what I'm saying? He got good ways of sending people down. He will let you know. He will put you in a position so deep that all you can do is cry out to him. You can't cry to your mama. You can't cry to your homeboys. You can't cry to your girlfriend. You can't cry to nobody. All you got to do, you got to look up. That's when you got to talk to him. When you ain't got nobody else to talk to, you all alone and you in this sinkhole by your damn self. Ain't nobody to talk to. Ain't nobody feeling what you're talking about. Ain't nobody understanding you. But God do. He understands you. People think you crazy. People think you losing your mind. But God understands you. God made you. You know what I mean? God made you. Hey, if you, if you got a gun right now and you, and you feel like you got to constantly watch your back 24-7, that means you don't trust God enough to take care of you. He been taking care of you. You weren't washing your back when you was a baby. When you was newborn and you, you couldn't even take care of yourself. Your mama, God blessed you with parents to bathe you and all that. And I know a lot of people talk about, well, I'm an orphan and all. You still here. God blessed people in your life to take care of you. It might not be the people you want all the time. And I know life, it plays a part that it can, it can suck real bad. Because everybody didn't have the same childhood. You know what I'm saying? Some people were blessed to have a good childhood. Some people wasn't that fortunate. Some people didn't have good parents, you know what I mean? So you got to understand, some people really not right in the head because of their upbringing, you know what I mean? But it don't mean that you got to go out here and hurt them. It don't mean that you got to go out here, you know what I'm saying, do something to them. You know, sometimes you just got to pray for people, you know what I'm saying? Pray for your enemies, you know? I mean, sometimes you... I mean, sometimes you just got to let bygones be bygones, man. I mean, because at the end of the day, some people just ain't right in the head. They was probably having a bad day. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you can let, just let that shit go. You know what I mean? Just let it go. You know what I mean? You can be mad at a person. Or, uh, you know what I'm saying? And, hey, look here, dog. Let it go, man. You know what I mean? I'm just talking to my brothers right now. Hey, let it go, dog. Because at the end of the day, I know, you know what I'm saying? People probably talking about, you women out here acting crazy. But no, nah, I'm just going to talk to I'm gonna talk to my partners right quick on the end of this video. You know what I'm saying? Hey, chill out, man. You know what I mean? Because ain't nothing in this world worth killing for. You know what I mean? No car. No house. No street. No block. You know what I mean? I don't care how good the dope is. It ain't worth killing for. I don't care, you know what I'm saying, how good she treated you. You know what I mean? How good she is to you. You know what I mean? Sexually, it ain't worth killing for. You know what I mean? Look here. You got a family. You know what I mean? I understand you got a family. God put you in a position to take care of your family. I understand that. But look here. You know what I'm saying? I understand you got to die for your family, death for dishonor when it comes to your family. Because I die for mine too with it. Because that's what I'm here for. I'm going to protect my family at all costs. Hey, anything come to my family, it's going to be me in the front, not them. But at the end of the day, once you give everything to God, you'll feel a hell of a lot better. I mean, you feel a whole lot better if you give everything to God. But like, look here. I mean, it's rough out here. You know what I'm saying? I really, I'm really trying to do right. You know what I mean? I really want to do right. Just tell God. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, you know, they'll be in church, you know, and they'll, you know, say stuff like, repeat after me. 
You know, I believe Jesus died, and ain't nothing wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? But I want all my gentlemen to repeat after me, all right? Check this out, fellow. All my street guys, check this out, man. Repeat after me. All you got to do is just tell God, look here. Say, look here, because God is your father. And say, look here, pops. You can say this, look here, pops. Hey, I'm down here. You blessed me to be in this position, but I don't know how to handle this position because at the end of the day, I'm human, but you are God. I'm just a man down here just trying to make it, and I know you put me here for a purpose. I don't know what that purpose is, it, it, but if I do know what that purpose is, let me know on insight. Work through people so you can get to me, or you can work through me, through the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, because I need help. I need help as a man to take care of my family. I need help as a man to survive in this world. I need help to do it your way and not my way. I know a lot of things that I want, but I know you know the things that I need. So just help me with my ego and my pride. I don't want to have to pull this gun. I don't want to have to kill nobody. You already said that I should not kill, so why am I carrying it anyway? If you're going to protect me, God, I put my entire life in your hands. I put, my, I put everything in your hands, and that's in Jesus' name. And I'm gone.